Welcome back, Right Riders. Keith Wheeler here, and today we're going to be picking an illustrator for my new children's book. Last week we went to Fiverr, we did some research, and we found four potential illustrators for my children's book. So then I reached out to all four of them, gave them the exact same specs, and today we're going to actually see what samples they sent me. And then you were going to help me decide which illustrator I'm going to pick to do my new children's picture book. Now one thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention last time is remember when you're hiring somebody on Fiverr that there is going to be a service fee. So you want to make sure that you add that into your budget. For gigs that are up to $40, it'll be a $2 service fee. Gigs that are over $40 are going to be 5%. So without further ado, let's take a look at those samples. So the first thing I want to do is show you the two images that I gave to all four illustrators to use as inspiration for their characters that I had them create. Now I had them create a dragon, I had them create a mom, a baby, and a dog. So here's a picture of my dog, Hank, and again, sent that to the illustrators to use as inspiration. Didn't say that they had to look just like them, but again, as inspiration. The other image that I sent is this picture of my daughter, Natalie, and her daughter, Ryla. Again, used as inspiration for this particular book. Now with that, let's look at the sample illustrations that they all sent over. Now here is the first one. It was sent over by Anishraf. I'm probably butchering that name, but luckily for you, just like last week, I have a link to all four illustrators to their sellers page on Fiverr, all down in the description below. It has all the characters that I asked for. I asked for a front yard scene, a house, swing set, has everything that I asked for. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and look at each of the characters. Okay, so here's the mom. I like the, the strands of hair, it looks good. I'm actually looking at the fingers, make sure that that doesn't look odd at all, and it doesn't, it looks very nice. The baby is adorable. The dog looks a little bit like the picture of Hank that I sent over. Again, I told him it didn't have to be an exact match. Again, just used for inspiration. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's look at the dragon. Okay. This dragon doesn't have any wings that are visible, that's fine, but it's adorable. One of the other requests that I made is I wanted to make sure that the dragon was not scary. I wanted him to be fun and playful. He's not an antagonist in the book in any way, shape, or form. So again, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't scary and that it was playful. So they did a great job with that as well. The house looks good. Swing set. Okay, everything I asked for. All right, so this is going to be illustration A so let me know down in the comments what do you think of illustration A now at the end I'm going to take all four illustrations I'm going to put them all together so you can make a final decision but I really like to know what your initial thoughts are of illustration A here we are with illustration B this is from Hameo Art first and foremost I have to mention how spot-on this image is right here to match the image that I sent of my dog Hank did a great rendering of it amazing she also took the words from the very first page uh, this text was actually sent to all four illustrators a little bit of a spoiler two illustrators included it two did not I didn't ask for it to be included so it wasn't the ones that didn't it's not like they forgot to do something um, it, but it is nice to see it here as it would look in the book itself Again, I like how obviously the style is different, but just their take on, you know, the front yard scene and, and things like that. Like they didn't show the entire house, but you still can tell there's a house here. The dragon is adorable. Again, not scary at all. Let's zoom in a little bit. I can't get over that dog. Um, okay, so a lot of great color usage and shading. Looks good. Okay, I love the shadows, things that you might overlook. They did not. A lot of detail in the bushes. Let's look over here at the dragon. Again, this is another one of those dragons that do not have wings visible. And again, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. No complaints with this one either. I, this is definitely going to be a tough decision, and that's why I'm so thankful that you are here to help me decide. So, 
let me know down in the comments your initial thoughts of Illustrator B. Okay, here we have Illustrator C. This is from Milan Designs. Again, completely different style. We got the dog in the background. Looks very similar to, to the reference material I gave. Uh, as you can see, just there's a lot more distance and depth within this particular image. I mean, you've got the house in the background, the little swing set, some trees, trees up here, plenty of birds and clouds. The dragon has a bit more detail, has some wings, although they're not 100% visible, but that's fine. You still know that they're there. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit more on the characters. Okay, I love the just little attention to detail, like how the pant leg would just sit with a child just standing there. I love that. Um, fingers look good. Okay, okay. Let's look over at this dragon. A lot more detail. A little bit of muscle structure. Again, not scary. Very cute and adorable. Uh, I do love how they're. I mean, all these illustrators are catching the the b blue in the eyes very well. Doing a great job. A little shadow in the house over here because it's facing away from the sun. Just a great attention to detail. Awesome. So again, this is Illustration C. Let me know what you think in the comments. Last but certainly not least, this one is from Epic Graphics. If you watched last week's video, this is one of the first illustrators that really caught my attention. Again, they all did such playful dragons and yet all completely different. I do find it funny how without me giving any color schemes three out of the four went with a purple dragon. I find that quite amusing. Um, this one has full wings right here. You can see that. You can see the shadows within the folds of the wings. That's great detail. They also included the text of the first page but they gave a little bit of a backdrop behind it with the, uh, the black frame around it. You can see the sun kind of peeking out behind here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Now, one thing I did notice, um, they added some extra things here. So they've got like the doghouse, that's great. There's no swing set in this one, which is, I mean, I'm sure I can ask them to add it in, not a big deal, but just something to note. Obviously, this dog doesn't look anything like the reference material but it's fine again that reference material was just for inspiration I actually I find it adorable how they they took the idea of that dog and they went a different route that's not necessarily anything wrong with that uh, matter of fact I'm gonna look at that dog even more I mean look at the texture and the hair that they did a great job with that I'm very very pleased and the tongue sticking out that's so cute all right, let's see. Baby in their little carrier right here. That's so cute. And the mom behind it. Beautiful flowers. I mean, the, and then I mean, even here, like I didn't ask for a doghouse. You can see the cage around it, and yet still see the fence behind it. That's that's really good. How they chose a slightly different color for the fence back here to show that it's being seen through something. Um, that that takes a lot of thought and so that's pretty impressive I like that okay let's look over here at the dragon this dragon is so cute even the dragon has beautiful blue eyes that is awesome 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 this is definitely a difficult decision to find to pick one illustrator to do the entire book I mean I'll be honest I would be thrilled with any one of these illustrators doing my entire book so Again, I'm definitely going to need a lot of help from you guys to help me pick the illustrator for my next children's picture book. And this is going to be Illustrator D as in dog. And finally, here we are with all four illustrations all together. One, so you can see again the, the letters that go along with them, but also so you can really compare them. And you can feel free to go back and watch the other ones when I do the zoom ins, if that will help you decide. Also, you can feel free to take a screenshot of this 
and tag me at Wheeler Books on Instagram or Twitter and let me know who your favorite is there. But again, go down in the comments here on this video and let me know what your thoughts are of all four images and who do you think I should pick to be the illustrator for my entire children's picture book. So thanks for looking at those samples with me. Again, make sure you go down in the comments and you tell me which one you think I should use for my picture book. Now, if you missed it last week, you check out this video right here and you can see me go through Fiverr and figure out exactly how I picked those four potential illustrators. Or if you already saw that, you can check out this video that YouTube says is perfect for you. I'll catch you in the next video and remember to write right.